thanks for stopping by. I like to preface this video by saying it is not a knitting tutorial, but it means to have something playing in the background while you work on your own project. If you're like me and really enjoy having something on while you work, sometimes the content you like is very visually engaging and you're several hours in and haven't gotten nearly as far along in your project as you would have liked to. So that's where I come in. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. We are continuing with the sock for my cousin's daughter. We left off last where we were um, doing the heel flap before we turned the heel to um, make the actual like round part here. And here we see that in this episode we are further along than before by a long shot and we're we're getting there we're almost through so we're just gonna keep working on this one and then eventually when it's said and done my next sock will be my cousin's sock because she is also a petite woman so I figure I will just knit the same um, adult small size that is listed in the Ann Bud book for my cousin. And it is currently about 11.30 p.m. on a Sunday night, so you are going to see this on Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you, wherever you are. Um, over the weekend, I mentioned in my previous video that I had a lot going on and considering how tired I was when I got home, I, I literally had dinner, um, well actually, I take that back, when I got home from work because Saturday was a very busy day at work where I was there from 9 to about 5.30 working on a big project and it was all physical labor. Sadly I had some fatalities again. I know the last episode I had short nails because I broke a second one on one hand while I was working on putting together my office chair and the intensity of the physical labor that I had on Saturday resulted in several more nails being broken while I was on the job so they were all raggedy and I had to cut them down so I just have a clear coat of nail polish on until uh, next weekend because it seems like we are not quite finished with our project so probably uh, today the day you see this video I will probably be at my job physically again working on the same project so we're hoping we'll be able to get a lot more done which surprisingly I, I'm really surprised we didn't get as much done as we could but we need more space so we have to wait move some things around continue on so that's what's up with me but yeah I hope you're all having a good one. I am excited to paint my nails again. I'm excited to finish this sock. That's one thing I was hoping to do this weekend was even though I was busy at work, I really wanted to knit off camera and maybe even come to you guys with a new sock altogether, but I was just so tired after I got home from work on Saturday that after I showered, I had some dinner, and then I went right to bed. And then today, I had some chores to do since Saturday I was at work all day and so tired when I got home, I just didn't do any of them. So Sunday, today that I'm filming, I caught up on that stuff and ordered some groceries online, put them away, just did, did some housework and stuff so this is maybe the maybe the first time this weekend that I actually like really touched the sock so feels good feels very good it feels like I'm a little off 
because of the way filming has gone lately, but I'm glad to be with you guys. I'm happy. And because it's the 30th that you see this, it's the last day of September, which means it's the last day to give me any and all of your awesome suggestions of cool things that you really like, that you think that I would also like to have in my home as a purchase for my birthday month. If you're new here, September, well, now it's like the end, September was my birthday month and I asked everybody who has been viewing me lately to to tell me some yarn things that you really enjoy and I would, you know, prices considering and tastes considering would purchase some things and then show you guys what I ended up getting um, later in October after I've made the purchases. So for September I haven't made any major purchases besides a few that I've mentioned already but I'm really looking for yarn, preferably like indie dyers, any cool gadgets or notions or anything like that that uh, you particularly enjoy and think that maybe I would enjoy as well. So there's still a day. Today is the last day. I mean, of course, by the time you view it, you might have made some comments after but October will be the curation time and purchase time. And I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, but yes, is there anything, I guess, during your birthday? Are you a birthday month kind of person? Are you a birthday week kind of person? Do you treat yourself to something extra extra special what's the kind of way you like to celebrate your birthday i'd love to know what other folks do um th this year and last year were the first two years that i i did this style where well i mean considering these are the only two years that i've had my channel where i've left it open of course i have like my own like me things that i buy but yarn type stuff I wanted to to get some input from the viewers and that kind of helps me stay in the loop too on like what's cool out there besides you know just the kind of stuff I browse my tastes are limited so I always welcome some outside influence into my life but yeah trying to think of something interesting that happened today um, what is something oh yes so my neighbor besides having dogs they have a cat and he's very cute he's a little tuxy and he got out which is not the first time um, once he was out and I think he was sitting somewhere in the yard and I got a call from like the landlord's kind of like maintenance person and they're like hey you know your cat's outside and I was like looking at Koji and Kabu like no I don't have a cat outside and then I was like oh yeah my neighbors have a cat so when they described black and white cat I was like yeah that's my neighbors so I was like, you might want to call the house next door. And I don't know what happened because it was a while ago. I assume, I mean, considering since then, the cat has been in the house that they let them back in. Um, but today I was walking through the hall downstairs and Kabu was just eyeing the heck out of the front window and I was like, oh yeah, thinking it was a squirrel or something. And as I got closer and I looked down, because we have blinds that um, come pretty far down just for my privacy, but they're only just a little above the floor so that the cats can see if they're sitting there. It's just high enough for them. And when I got closer, I could see there was another cat on the other side. I was like, oh, that was 
was surprising. So I get closer and Kabu and the cat are like touching noses through the window, just kind of like looking at each other. And she wasn't, you know, puffy. I thought maybe she would hiss or something, but she was just like hmm, checking him out. And when I got closer, she just went upstairs and I opened the door and I was like, hello, like literally talking to the cat. And he took like one step in and I was like, oh, oh, oh. So I was like, oh, I can't. Thinking, you know, I kind of recognized him after I got a closer look. I was like, oh, that's the neighbor's cat. I was like, well, if you come in here and you get stuck somewhere and you hide, that's going to be a problem. So I closed the door on him and then I got a can of food, cat food, uh, off my little cabinet where I keep their cat food because I'm like, well, if worse comes to worse and I, they're not home and I need to like lure this cat back to me somewhere safe, then maybe they'll come if I pop a can of food. So I put the food in my back pocket and I went outside. Well, f first I went to my desk and grabbed a face mask because I'm like, well, if I do have to interact with anybody, I want to be prepared. So I put the can of food in my pocket, went and got my face mask, opened the door. Cat was still there. But because I had the face mask on, now all of a sudden he didn't want to, you know, interact with me. So I figured, like, okay, he's a little scared and went into the shrubs like next door. I was like, oh, okay. So I kind of crouched low and stuck out my hand and I made some noises and he wasn't too interested anymore. So I was like, okay. So I got out further into the yard and walked around and I could see that their kitchen light was on and their window was open and there was actually somebody in the window so I was like neighbor I, I kind of know their name but I don't know who so I was like hi neighbor neighbor <laughs> kind of waving at them and they're like oh oh they saw me and I was like hey uh your cat is outside I'm not sure if they're indoor or outdoor cat but just so you know they're like oh he got out I was like okay <laughs> And I wasn't like too worried. They're like not like, oh no. They're just like, oh, we got out. And then I'm, I'm like, ooh, because uh, you guys remember that story about that skunk? Yeah, they are still around. And we also have coyotes and raccoons and possums and um, maybe something worse than that. But, oh, hawks. We have hawks too, and there has been one really close by lately. So I'm thinking of all of the horrible things that could happen to this poor cat, and I would have just been frantic. But the cat actually wasn't um, too, you know, concerned himself, I guess. He wasn't like, I'm free, I'm gonna run away. He was just hanging out in the bushes and then later on he walked over and they had um, a package on their front steps so he sat kind of like laid on top of that because <laughs> it's a box you know cats love boxes so I thought that was kind of funny and then late, my partner had to go to this mall like way 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 far away to get their uh, smart watch replaced and of course, they were gone when all of this excitement happened, and when they came back, I told them this story. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. But yes, I think my heart would just, like my stomach would drop to the floor if Kabu or Koji had had run off. We, we had a scare, close scare, when we moved here to this apartment because Koji being the scaredy cat he is oh, he's such a scaredy cat um, when we were moving we had them in the bathroom of our old place and the door was closed but you know thinking because the door was closed nobody was gonna go in there it's closed door all the boxes are right here in the middle of the room but door got open and Koji, knowing there were people moving around, bumping around on the other side, was terrified and ran out of the bathroom. Ran out of the apartment, and we were on the top floor of an enclosed, hauled area, and 
thank goodness he ran further down the hall where the other apartments were and not the back way where it was open so the movers could come in and out. Because if he had run out those stairs and down the stairs, he would have just kept going. I don't think I ever would have saw him again. And I was just like, oh. So he ran down one hall and I, I, my heart was racing. I had so much anxiety, like every bone, I was shaking like oh like that sense of panic to try to get him back was crazy because he went down a way i never even gone because it's like i don't live down this hall why would i go down this hall and it was like scary and i mean the condition of the it was a really crappy apartment complex like we were desperate um <laughs> we lived there one year and that was enough and that was too much, honestly, too much. There was some stuff that happened in that place. And he went down this hall that just had horrible, like the wallpaper was all bubbly and peely because the radiator was like causing the steam and it was lifting it and it was just bad. But he went down that hall and he went down another hall and he went down that hall again. And I had to chase him and I finally was like, I got a blanket and he wedged himself behind this radiator where the bubbly wallpaper was and he was tight in there and I couldn't get him out. And so finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to take a, take a chance. So I'm like, he's not coming out. He's too scared. He's like not, so gone feral mode that he doesn't even realize that I'm there to help him. I'm tired to give him, get him back to safety. So I got the carrier, I got him, <laughs> and uh, I had to like grab him by his hind legs and pull him out. And as soon as I got saw the side of his face, he turned and he's like, <sighs> he hissed. And I'd never, well, okay, when he was a kitten, he'd hiss a lot. But since he'd, you know, become an older cat, you know, two years old, he was like, better and he hissed at me and I so surprised I didn't get bitten or something but I just threw the blanket over him like manhandled it like wrapped it around I know it was traumatizing but I had to get him quickly into the carrier so I just burritoed the heck out of him put him in the carrier closed it and just brought it back to the bathroom and closed the door. So Kaga was just like roaming around cause she's like, I, she's like been there, done that. I've moved, she moved like three times already. She's like, I got this, I'm used to this. Uh, Koji had only moved one other time, but he, since him and being transported don't go well together anyway, He's just not having it, so he just stayed in the carrier the rest of the day until we got to the to our apartment here, and I was able to let him out in the bathroom, and he stayed in there for a long time, but eventually he got out and walked around and stuff, so, but man, so that was like one time when he got out, and I was like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so but now he's not even trying to go out of any front doors, uh, which I am thankful for. But yes, that is so scary. So yes, you would imagine my level of concern about this cat that was wandering outside considering all of the natural predators that hang around. Not the place I would I would prefer to see a cat. And it is kind of sad. In the neighborhood, not my neighborhood, but a neighboring neighborhood where my partner and I walk, there have been a lot of posters around for a missing cat. And 
he's so sweet looking. He's really fluffy, like fluffier than Koji. And apparently he's really friendly and likes garages. And I was just like, oh, oh, why do you let your cat out? I understand a lot of people have their feelings about indoor outdoor cats, but around here where they're actually, there's so much roadkill because people, the, the area we live in has tons of windy roads, heavily forested, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, roughage to, to hide in and jump out in front of and a lot of dark roadways with really windy roads with people who have no regard for the speed limit and just whip around corners it's like you know those sports car commercials where they're going around a canyon like zero 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 it's like that and it's scary and i hate driving around our town because of that and you know you see a lot of roadkill because people are going like 40, 45, or you know, a 35 and a 25. And just thinking of like people bumping a raccoon or a skunk and just leaving it on the side of the road, I don't even want to think about what they do to cat. And that's why I would not promote having an outdoor cat in this area alone. Cars and all of the animals that could eat your cat or hurt your cat if they get in a fight. So I'm very protective of my <laughs> of my cats. So I'm like, indoor only, please. There is too much drama outside for a house cat to be trying to decide what they want to do and their ticks and, you know, all the other stuff that make cats lives a lot shorter when they're indoor outdoor we want them to be healthy they didn't ask well my cats didn't ask to be domestic it's just part of how they became involved with humans but because of the way that they are now um letting them loose in the wild is not ideal so we've met a few rounds I've gabbed on about cats because, for once, um, the name of the channel is related to the topic of the day, so cats, paws and pearls, and yeah, so we're, we're making our way. We have to be seven and a half inches from the back of the heel to the, not the toe, but when we start to shape the toe, so quite a bit more, but not too bad. That concludes the video and I will see you on Friday. Bye.